I would like to inform our Muslim brothers and sisters in France particularly that we are with you in solidarity. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you steadfastness, to give you patience and we are totally against what's happening in France for the last one month. And we know that on the 2nd of October, the president of France, Emmanuel Macron said that Islam is in crisis all over the world. And if you go a few days before, there was a trial that's taking place for the killing that took place in 2015 for the Charlie Hebdo staff that were killed by some of the terrorists. And when the trial was taking place in the month of September, Charlie Hebdo again, they published the caricature of the Prophet, belittling him, demeaning him, and that's nothing but blasphemy. Because of which, on the 25th of September, there was a Muslim who used a cleaver or a chopper and he attacked two of the staff members of Charlie Hebdo. After which, one week later, on the 2nd of October, the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, he gave a speech on how to control radicalism and he went on to say in that speech openly that Islam is in crisis all over the world. And he went on to say that it is wrong to portray your religious feeling in public. France believes in freedom of speech. France believes in human rights. We have no problem with someone following certain religion. But to outwardly portray your religiosity in public is not accepted in France. Wearing hijab in public is not accepted. And he went on belittling Islam and speaking against the Prophet for which the Muslims condemned his speech in different parts of the world. It is uncalled for that head of state, if there's a problem, rather than solving the problem, he is adding fuel to the fire. If someone is blaspheming or speaking against the prophet of any religion, demeaning him, making caricatures, instead of saying that this should not be done, he says this is allowed in the freedom of speech. Blasphemy is allowed. And he went on to add fuel to the fire. So much so that there was a teacher who had a session with the students in the class of tolerance and circulated the caricature of the Prophet, Billah, and had a debate because of which that became viral, what the teacher did. And in retaliation to this, there was a Chechen immigrant on the 16th of October who took a hatchet and he beheaded that teacher, Samuel Patty, because of which that became world news everywhere. As far as the act of that Muslim beheading the teacher in France, this is not what Islam says. In Islam, there are some rules and regulations and this should be followed in a country which follows the Islamic Sharia, not in a country which is not following the Islamic Sharia. A person cannot get up in the morning and take the law in his hand or go and behead someone and this act is not condoned by me at all. And there were many Muslims throughout the world who have condemned this act. But the point to be noted that if one Muslim out of the millions of Muslims makes a mistake, that does not mean that you demean the full community, that you speak against the full community, that you speak against religion, that you speak against the Prophet of Islam. What the person did is to be condemned. He made a mistake. But you cannot go on criticizing the religion of Islam, criticizing the Prophet, and going out of the way and saying that we will make these caricatures public, giving in the media, and you could see that big buildings were hired and paid ads were given so that the caricature of the Prophet 
was portrayed on torn buildings as advertisements. This is uncalled for. It hurts us and we Muslims, we condemn this act of France, especially the head of the country, the president of France, Macron, we condemn it. He's talking about human values, talking about freedom of speech. He should be the last person knowing what France has done in the colonial rule. If you read the history of France, the France had many colonies, including Algeria. And we know that France ruled Algeria for more than 100 years. For 132 years, the France ruled Algeria, right from 1830 to 1962. And according to historical records, there were 875,000 Algerians killed by France. Some records say up to 1 million. And when you talk about freedom of speech, at that time in Algeria, when anyone spoke against the French government or against the French, they were executed. They were killed. This is history. They went to colonize many countries, including Morocco, including Tunisia, and saying that we want to uplift the civilization. We want to civilize these countries. What they actually did was converted them into slaves. And this is what has been done by many of the Western countries. We have the example of UK. They colonized many countries in the world, including India, where I come from. The whole of the Indian subcontinent was colonized by them. They started the East India Company in the name of business. They came and they ruled. They looted the country. They plundered the country. The GDP was at the lowest. India, which was one of the richest countries in the world, one of the most powerful countries in the world, they looted it completely. And in their history, they say that they wanted to uplift India. Two days later, after this teacher was beheaded, on the 18th of October, just below a field tower, two Muslim ladies who were wearing hijab, they were attacked by a French woman and stabbed multiple times. One Muslim lady, she was 40 years old, the other was 19 years old, and there was multiple stab injuries, so much so that both were admitted to the hospital. And this was actually not reported. Later on, when the video became very popular and it was circulated on the social media, then the police later on goes and arrests the French woman. Isn't this double standards? France claiming to be a very advanced country claiming to be a country which has human rights, they have double standards. Imagine when 9 to 10% of the population of France, they are Muslims. Instead of taking care, instead of living harmoniously, they go out of the way to say that the headscarf will be banned, the naqab will be banned, showing signs of religious ban. And what do they do? They go and openly they say that we are going to make these caricatures of the prophet Naus billah public and anyone who objected to this it was a crime and they went and closed down more than 70 mosques in the last week the french government all those who objected that making a public display of the prophet's caricature demeaning him insulting the prophet, making derogatory statement against him. When they objected, they were arrested. Imagine more than 70 mosques were closed. Not only are they doing blasphemy, but anyone who objects that they consider is not freedom of speech, that they consider as crime. Isn't the double standard? It is nothing but thuggery. That just because they are in majority, 90% of them, they are subduing and they are oppressing the minority. Is this freedom of speech? We condemn the act of the France government, of the French people, especially the president Emmanuel Macron. And when he said that Islam is in crisis all over the world, he got it wrong. Actually, Islam is the solution for the crisis all over the world. And I've given a talk on Islam, the solution.
to the problem of humanity. And that will reply to all his questions. What we have to realize as Muslims, that we have to be steadfast, we have to be patient. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us sabr. Whatever these people do, they are trying to instigate us. They want more such cases to happen. Someone comes out of the blue and beheads someone so that they can attack us more fiercely. They can bring laws against us.